Hi, Andy from Solid Tech here. I'm going to show you today how to uh, create a sheet metal loft and then how to dimension it. So here I've got two sketches, sketch one and sketch two. Uh, if we just go into sketch one, the sketch has to have a break in it. If it's a complete circle, SolidWorks won't recognize it as a, a profile for a loft, a sheet metal loft. So make sure there's a gap. I've got a one mil gap here. So I'll just come back out of that. So these are my two my two profiles. Then I can go sheet metal toolbar and lofted bend. I I can then select the two sketches. Choose my thickness and materials. So I'll put in the two mil thickness, and I can OK that. And then I've got my my cone shape. And the problem with this is when you flatten it and then try to dimension it in the drawing, it won't actually let you dimension the arc. So if I just flatten this to show you what I mean. In the drawing, it won't let you dimension this arc cut because it's a spline. So just a quick tip on how to get around that is if you sketch on this this flat patterned part and you can put a point on this arc here, so we snap on there, and what we're going to do is re-sketch this, this arc, so in order to fix that, because this point, I can't actually put it on a midpoint or anything, it's just going to move about, so I need to take a center line, and I can run it from that center midpoint to that midpoint and then snap this point onto that line. Okay. Let's make that consonant. Okay, the next part is use your three point arc. Put one point there, another there, and then snap it to this point that we've just inserted. So we can make that coincident. Okay. And then we've got our arc in there fully defined and we can come back out of there then when we go to make a drawing for this I'll need to save this first I'll just save it to my desktop just save this part one okay. and then if I go file make drawing from part just chuck this on a three page and if I drag in that flat pattern I'll just make that slightly bigger. Okay. This is what I mean by you couldn't dimension that arc. It will give you this error. So what we need to do then is turn on the sketch which I just created. So we can show that. And then we should be able to dimension that arc. Okay. You can do the same obviously for this arc as well. So that's how you can get around that. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.